Hi guys, welcome back. Um, today we are doing uh, shell candles. So these are kind of easy, but I do have to warn you, the wax is hot that you were working with, so be very, very careful. This is more of um, a precautionary, because you will burn yourself. I always burn myself with wax, so um, just be careful. So, what you're going to need is shells, which you can find at Michael's or Walmart. Um, you're going to need these things. These are... Um, these are like cords for the candles and you can kind of, you've probably seen them on the bottom of candles before. Now these are really long stems so you will be cutting them. Um, also you're going to need wax which I am melting right now right here. I don't have an exact melter and I don't want to invest in one because I probably won't do a ton of candle pieces. So I've just used my scent melter um, because I don't want to ruin any actual dishes. So this is actually a candle inside melting the wax for me. And so it's going to be really, really hard to pour. That's why I kind of have these pieces of paper here because if I don't want to ruin my desk. And, um, of course, I'm taking more of a risk by not using the proper materials. So remember, the more um, proper equipment you use, the safer you are. So first you're going to start with your shells. And for your shells, you can use them just white. Or you can you you can spray paint them like I did. I chromed these ones, so you can see the difference there, kind of. Um, or I tried using my sparkle spray as well, and that's just to give it kind of a different look. Um, so say you don't like to use just white shells, you can use the chrome plated ones. They're kind of really pretty. Um, you don't really need to do the inside. You're filling the inside with wax. Um, so really, I mean, it depends what you want to use. You can sparkle them, you can do whatever, or you can just use them plain. So um, I'm going to use both today, and I'm going to use these pieces of paper as my little um, cover-up because wax is so messy. So you can even use, like, wax paper, I guess, or just anything underneath just to kind of cover it up. So my wax is almost done melting. And I don't want it to get really soft, so we're going to get started here. Um, take your shells. <coughs> I'm just going to use four for now. I'm going to use one of my little chrome plated ones. And you're going to need to use your stems now. So um, you don't always have to use one with an actual base. So when I cut these in half, I'm actually going to use, um, it's going to be two and then one for each one. I just, I want to save some time and some money. So we're going to use our scissors and cut it open here. So I'll cut it right down the center. <coughs> the easy thing about this, these is that they do have a base so it sits better, of course. This is going to be tricky. I'm going to have to do it by hand and I'll show you how to do that. So of course this one's already sitting up ready to go and we'll just cut one more. So now we have the base of our candle. As you can see it kind of already looks like a candle. So, now we're going to pour our wax. Um, it's almost all melted. We probably have to wait just a few more minutes. I'm trying to think of something to stir with. Hmm. I'll use this piece of cardboard. Just to kind of... There we go. So it's almost ready. As you're waiting, why don't you watch this quick little advertisement? Alright, and we're back. Do you guys like it? <laughs> I knew you would. So, now the wax is pretty much melted. I'm going to blow out the candle inside. Because we don't want that spilling its wax out all over us. And I'm just going to take it out. It's funny how you're using a candle to make a candle. Oh my. There we go. So we'll get that out of there. So now, this wax that I used is, um, it's called Caribbean Escape. So it smells like pineapples. I figured that would be appropriate for our shells. Um, pouring this is going to be very, very difficult. <gasps> oh, alrighty. So, it's really quick work. I, um... For the ones that don't have the stem, you're really going to have to just wait on it till it cools just a little bit. The ones with the stem, not a problem. All you're going to do is pour it right in. Ah. 
oh my gosh I'm making a huge rush it's hard with shells because they're not very stable so I'm trying to just oh got a little bit on my desk there we go I use my spray bottle lid I don't even know if I have enough for four I might have only made enough wax for three I didn't know it said to melt two cubes but two cubes is not a lot to be honest The good thing about doing it on paper is that you can just quickly throw out the paper and it's not a big deal. So, we'll put that over there. Yeah, I only made three, which is okay. I mean, obviously, it's not pre preferred, but make judgment calls yourself, I guess, when you're doing this. Ah, there we go. You really have to make sure you have level shells, too. I didn't think about that at all. This one's kind of staying by itself. Oh, it's because it's got wax on the bottom there. So now all you're going to do is wait for it to cool. Um, it should probably take, see, they're already kind of cooling off, so it shouldn't take too long, maybe about 10 minutes, and then you are ready to use them in whatever manner you want, of course, as candles. Um, you are going to actually see these beautiful little babies in my next video when I do a centerpiece for you guys. So no fear, these are going to be used. So I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little video. Um, any questions or comments, please leave them down below. And what do you guys think of the shells? Like what type of candles, if, I, if you guys like the candles, should I do more candles or should I just give up on candles? Like, kind of messy and I really don't want to invest in an actual pot for them. So let me know guys. See you next time.